and welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm at my Port Austin home and I'm going to paint this plant. I wanted to work in my nature journal and I was going to work outside, but when I got up here, there's just not a lot to look at yet outside. I did go for a walk though. Um, it is a beautiful sunny day as you can see. There's not a cloud in the sky and um, it is beautiful, but it's a little bit chilly. It's in the 40s, upper 40s, but the sunshine is warm. So when I'm out there, there's not a lot of wind or anything. It's not too bad. I may go out in a little bit and try to sketch something, but for right now, I'm just going to do this plant that I brought up from home. It was in my kitchen garden window, and it's got some character with these little brown spots on the leaves that probably aren't a good thing, but... Um, they're great if you want to draw them. Um, I'm going to have to make some adjustments though here and get my plant out of the way uh, and I will work vertically in my, um, this is my Pentallic Nature's, I think it's called Nature's Journal. Let me just check and see real quick. Um, I can't open it up. There we go. Nature Sketch. And this is the six by 12 inch. And so I'm just gonna work upright. I'm not gonna be drawing my plant exactly. I'm just taking some features from the plant and I'm going to um, draw from that. And uh, I have not painted in quite a while. So this could be, this could be um, bad, who knows. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to be using this gray Faber-Castell watercolor pencil to do my sketching with so that the pencil lines will disappear. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do like to use a watercolor pencil quite a bit. It still is erasable for the most part and um, I can just go over it with my paint and I don't have any lines showing afterwards. Sometimes I want the lines to show but today I did not want that. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and work on my sketch here. I always have trouble with this part, my ellipses, getting them even. I don't know, maybe right-handed people have a problem on the left side. I always have a problem on the right side where it slopes, but I'll fix that before we get going with paint. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and draw the pot in with just a straight line to begin with, and then I'm going to go and do my jagged, or the, like, step down look that it has. It's real hard for you to see that, so I may uh, just fast forward this a little bit and then jump back in. Now here I'm going to go ahead and try to fix that ellipse that isn't quite right and that's much better. Um, It'll make sense when I get the paint and the dirt in there. I mean the paint and the dirt. The the red part of the pot and the dirt in there. <laughs> I can't speak today. So let me tell you while I'm sketching, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on here with us. Um, we did put our house on the market on the day before Easter. It was, actually it was Good Friday. It was that Friday we put it on the market and we put it on the market at about eight at night and by nine o'clock we already had two showings scheduled for the following morning and then it ended up to be four, four scheduled for that day which I was surprised by with the holiday but um, I needed to get home because I had to get to church so um, we did that and then Saturday we had several showings as well. And actually, no, it was Good Friday night when we put it on the market. Saturday is when we had the showings. So we went to visit my dad. And when we went to visit him uh, while we were there, we had four more scheduled. So it was quite a busy day. And I had to play in my um, orchestra ensemble for Holy Saturday. So um, I needed to get home and get my music and my flute and all that stuff and get ready to go. Um, then Sunday, we had my kids over for Easter dinner. Stop it, Diesel. He's crying because he wants attention. Um, and then 
so we didn't do any showings that day and then Monday it started up again well I had five scheduled and it ended up later by the time that day was over we had seven and it was too much for me I just could not handle being in a car driving around or doing things I needed to go lay down I was in so much pain and finally I uh, ended up almost getting sick out of the car window because I was in so much pain. I got home at around 10 after five and I said to my husband, I said, I'm gonna go lay down. I need to lay down and get rid of some of this um, pain. And 10 minutes later, he comes and comes to me and he says, um, let's take your car and it needs to have the catalytic converter repaired. So let's just go take that in right now since we have a showing at six. And I thought, are you kidding me? So he did not let me get any rest, but I don't know. People don't understand the type of pain I'm having. You know, when I say I have spondyloarthritis, people say, oh, I have arthritis too. Well, you know, it's not the same thing. I hate to tell you, it's not the same thing. People say they understand, they don't understand. I was probably at about an eight or nine pain level at that point. Couldn't take any pain medication because I was driving and I needed to lay down desperately and my, my seat wouldn't even recline in the truck because it's broken. So anyhow, that day was horrific. So then Tuesday, I got up and I had to go, I told Pat, tell them no, no showings until after 1 p.m. because I'm going to get out of town right after my doctor's appointment. I couldn't take the dog with me because it was too warm out and I didn't want him to get hot in the car. So I ended up um, taking or going to my doctor's appointment and I get a text from Pat and he says, we have a showing at 1 o'clock. And I thought, oh, for goodness sakes. I said, not till after one o'clock, not at one o'clock. I had to go home and pick up the dog. So I was worried that I wasn't going to get there in time. And when I got to the doctor's office, somebody in the waiting room said that they were double booked. It was a small waiting room and there were only two seats left in the entire waiting room. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to be here all day. But I got in, I got out, I had the biopsy done on my hand. And now I just wait a week on that to find out what that is. But, um, I made it home before noon or by noon, so I had an hour to pack up a few more things to go. I brought some house plants, including the one that I'm sketching right now, and I decided to come up north Monday afternoon because I can't keep leaving the house all day and sitting in a car, um, or I can't walk stores because the excess walking really aggravates my pain, so... I was kind of stuck, but then I could come up here and I could accomplish something. I couldn't do anything at home. I can't pack. I can't do anything because if I have a closet torn apart and then somebody wants to see my house, I got to shove it all back in the closet. Well, I'm not going to do that. So it was easier to just come up here and sketch, take a day off, just relax my back and do nothing. If I feel better, I may um, do a little bit of uh, my cleaning my upstairs bathroom. The walls still need to be washed, so I'll do that. But um, in the meantime, I just wanted to do a little bit of watercolor since I haven't painted in weeks. So Now, it was really unnecessary to uh, erase that because i'll be painting over it anyway but i just wanted to see the lines and know what was what and what was where i think i'm going to end up erasing the center of that other one too because it bugs me but um now i've sped it up uh so that we could get through this and then i'll start the painting So we've had probably about, I don't know, 20 or more showings on our house over about three or four days. We've got a few more scheduled for today and no offers yet. 
Um, we do have an older roof. Our septic field is 22 years old, although it's in sand and was only lived in with two people. So, you know, it wasn't like it was getting a lot of use and we maintained it well. People don't get all that. They just see a year and then they're like, oh my God, I have to replace everything. We get these evaluations and one person did this eval. We've been getting four out of five stars, five out of five stars on all of our evaluations, except for this one person who said he might be interested, except he gave us three out of five stars and said everything in the house needed to be replaced. You know, that's kind of offensive. And if you're going to come in with an offer and then you give me a lowball offer. I'm more apt to just tell you to screw off, excuse me. I'm not gonna deal with people like that, that are offensive. We all have different tastes. And yeah, the bathroom, one of our bathrooms needs to be updated. That's the only room that needs to be updated. Everything else, this included a hot tub, a jacuzzi hot tub, um, washer and dryer, and of course, stove and refrigerator and dishwasher, all that of course stays, convection oven, microwave, everything. Our kitchen was just redone two years ago and somebody tells us everything needs to re be replaced. Well, no, nothing needs to be replaced. The roof is coming close to needing replaced. Um, and that's it. We've had windows replaced. We've had siding replaced. We've had doors replaced. We've replaced all of the trim and molding in the house. Yeah, I, I, you know, I just found it so offensive. But anyway, so, so far, no offers. Somebody was going to put in an offer and at the last minute changed their mind because they were afraid of septic fields. They had never lived in a home with a septic field. And I felt the same. When I moved in there, I was worried about it. Um, but I adjusted, and septic fields are no big deal at all. But when you're a city person... And this is a suburb of Detroit. Um, people just don't get it all the time. So anyway, that's what's going on with that. But I am glad to be up north and away from it all so that I don't have to keep grabbing diesel and then running out the door every hour or whatever. We get text messages. I told them to send all texts to Pat because I was planning on leaving town. So he was getting all these text messages I accepted a showing for 10 a.m. I accepted a showing for 11 a.m. I accepted a showing for 12.30 to 1.30. I've accepted a showing from 1 to 2. I've accepted two showings from 6 to 7. You know, I'm like, holy moly, I need to go home. I need to go to the bathroom, you know, something. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just hoping that we will get an offer soon. My last house I sold was in a real up-and-coming neighborhood, um, very close to Detroit and had a great downtown scene and was only 950 square feet. Sold it in the second showing in a day and a half and um, got above the asking price. But now those homes, I understand 950 square feet are worth about $265,000. So, um, I was really shocked to see that, but uh, anyway, so that's where everything stands with me, and we will continue to work on this home up here. I cannot really unpack a whole lot of anything because I don't have my cupboards yet. I don't have my vanities in yet in my bathroom. I don't have the rods or shelves in my closets, and... So that leaves me nothing to unpack. <laughs> oh, it's just frustrating. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels, but I did need a day off to do this. So it's been, it's been nice to just sketch a little bit here and, and enjoy this a little bit. Even though it's not my best work, I was just doing a loose rendition of it anyway, just kind of quickly putting the paint on and... and throwing some color on the leaves, and then also um, you'll see in a minute what I do with the red. There's a lot of shininess to these leaves, and they reflect light, which comes off as white. So I pulled the color out of some of the areas on some of these, and that's what I'm doing here. 
I also did, did it on the leaves, some of the leaves, and I'm gonna go back and do it a little more at the end. I may though get out and do a little sketch outside. I, I have almost all of my art supplies up here, so it's very easy for me to grab a sketch bag, a chair, and run out and do something out there. I did take a walk in the woods with Diesel today and it was beautiful. There's not a lot growing except the winter greens popping up and then there's a couple other forest weeds or flowers that are popping up out of the ground. I've been hearing a lot of noise at night and it sounds like the frogs singing all night long. So I walked over to our giant wetland puddle in the back behind our property on the bird arboretum and I was looking for frogs but I couldn't find any. I don't know if they go down into the mud during the day or what but um, it's so cold at night, but they were singing all night long. I thought they can't be crickets. It's too early for crickets, but um, I'm going to have to figure out if that's frogs or not. Usually, I, I thought I heard them more later, but I'm not usually up here all winter long or in the early spring. We used to just, like, come around May, and then we'd start coming up north for the summer, so I have to figure that out. Now I'm just adding some more of the reflective light on some of these leaves. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out uh, a lot. So, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of my videos. Uh, if you're new to my channel, you may see some things called building vlogs. It's because I'm in the middle of a big move, as you've probably been aware since I was talking about it. And I've been doing progressive updates of the details of my home. So there's going to be probably a couple weeks before you see another update on the building vlog because a lot of the things that we're going to be doing over the next couple weeks are small details that aren't going to show a lot of progress. But um, eventually, I, I think next week, I will likely have my kitchen, laundry room, and wet bar cupboards all delivered. And when I accept delivery on those, then that weekend, Pat and my nephew, Thane, are going to come back. He's going to come back with his buddy, and they're going to pound out getting these 
cabinets in, hopefully in one weekend. Then I have to be up here to schedule for the countertop to be measured for all three, and then that takes a few weeks before we get a countertop. So we'll probably have, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm watching a squirrel trying to figure out how to get onto my bird feeder, that little, shit. I'm gonna, darn it, he's gonna try. Um, Anyway, uh, we'll probably have to use plywood for a countertop for a bit. Who knows? But uh, anyway, I'm just writing some notes on here, a little detail for my journal, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so here's my quick ske sketch for today. Um, it's been a long time since I painted anything, so... Um, it was a challenge, especially with this table, this TV tray being too high for the chair I was sitting in. It wasn't the best painting condition, but I will get it together and I'll find a place that I can paint in this house. Not that I need to paint the house, but you know what I mean. I need to find a place that I can sit at in this house to paint. There we go. Anyway, everybody remember, be courageous. Paint with Wild Abandon. And most of all, be kind to each other. Bye-bye.